Right, another offering from Diorama Debris. I'll run through it as I normally do. It's a silicon rubber mould. It's in 135th scale. It's a 5 inch curb, curbs, whichever way. You, the mould number is 1350007. It's produced in the UK by RJ Norris. There will be a link in the description box for this particular mould. Now, I purchased this mould for the simple reason is I've already got the 6 inch and when the camera focuses and this is the 5 inch and I thought to myself it's going to be just slightly more delicate than the big 6 inch ones and looking at it I sat and sort of was looking at the mould and everything else and there's not a great deal of difference between the 6 and the 5. Now if I bring the 6 inch one in at the top here as you can see okay it's just set out a little bit different we have the cheeses we have one cheese in the six inch the cheeses I discard because at the end of the day to me they're too modern uh, more seen in a car park or something like that something that heavy vehicles would go over or clip and not destroy so uh, you get one in the six inch and you get two in the five inch the five inch you get two cur uh, corners uh, for your footpaths where in the six inch one you actually get one but you also get one slow corner as well so you can make a wider arc in a circle uh, as for the actual curves themselves you get a nice selection of different sizes and also you get a nice selection of different sizes in this one now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast the 5 inch one we'll have a look at the 5 inch one and then we'll compare I've already got some 6 inch uh, ones cast we'll just have a little look against each other uh, the simple reason I'm doing it doing it this way is Personally, I don't see the point of buying both of these moulds, uh, even though I have bought both of these moulds. I've got a, a real sneaking suspicion that a mould will do the job of both of these because there's not that much difference between the two. So I'm going to go and get some cast and then we'll take a little look. Okay, we're back. Now, I've cast some of the 5 inch ones very nice don't get me wrong there is nothing at all wrong with them they're lovely little parts they're well textured uh, they come out the molds nice there is nothing wrong with them at all they're beautiful the, the mold that they came out is, is very well engineered uh, as you can see I've done some in a bit of a like a footpath type scenario and they look good, there's nothing wrong with them, there really isn't nothing wrong with them. They're textured on both sides which is great so you can uh, do an inward corner or an outward. So it's universal. But at the back here, this is a 6 inch, exactly the same. Now I'm just going to compare them together for you. Now, the 6 inch is the darker one. Okay, it's slightly thicker. If I just move that that way a little bit so you can see. To me, the, the difference there is very, very, very minimal. It really is. Uh, this particular one, the 6 inch one, is more pronounced top-wise, where the 5 inch is it's slightly tapered up as you can see it's just that slight taper to it which is going to give it that little bit of uh, a more delicate edge uh, that's if you want that sort of thing and to, to be totally honest if you are doing uh, like what I do is uh, sort of like pre-war 
and actual war buildings. Uh, I don't think it's really going to make a heap of difference if you use the 6 or the 5 and I really don't. Like for like one of the cheeses, I don't like these cheeses but we've got a cheese, uh, there's no difference, they're both the same size. Uh, the actual 6 inch curb edging, well like I say the six inches nicely textured and I'm oh, doing that out of shot and the five inches nicely textured and they look good me personally I would go for the six inch uh, mold for the simple reason is you get the slow curb as well as a full curb and if I have a quick boot in my box there we go so you get the slower curb and you get uh, the, the quite the sh quite sharp curb which would make your pathway up like so and to be honest with you look I mean I'm putting them five inch curbs and there isn't there really isn't a great deal it really isn't I mean you can see that they're virtually marrying up that is very minuscule very very minuscule but like I say the 5 inch is a nice mould there's nothing wrong with it uh, if you weren't going to do any sort of slow curbs you know, slow gradient well, it's not a gradient is it it's a uh, arc yeah we'll get this right so I'm trying to root in the box and trying to find another you see two of them together would give you a, a, a wider arc uh, to me like I say the 6 inch is going to be more useful uh, in what I'm doing anyway but the choice is yours I'm giving you the sort of like uh, looking at both of them uh, because they are nice moulds and that's, that's about all I can say really uh, just a, uh, a good little mould so there we have the 6 and the 5 uh, compared together uh, like I say if you want to buy buy one and you want a practical one that's going to do everything I'd go for the 6 uh, if you really want to go a little bit more delicate go for the 5 but as you can see there's very very little in it there really is very little in it and uh, that's all I can say so thank you very much for joining me on this little uh, uh, review of the 5 inch curb you will be seeing this again in a in a little while because uh, I've got a review on some blocks coming up so thank you very much and we'll see you on the next one